All right, I'm gonna do the problem a little bit differently that's not in the key, at least I think a little bit differently, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is just a little bit differently. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say u is equal to x plus a over x minus a. And I'm not saying this is better than what I've done in the key. Don't think I'm saying it's better. All I'm saying is variation can't hurt, all right? So what would I see on the left side? I would say u plus one over u, all right? This is a variable. However, I'm now gonna use something, a parameter. And I'm gonna say the parameter is the letter, let's pick a letter that's not too obvious. Let's see, let me say C is equal to A plus B over A minus B. So what would this equal? I would get C plus one over C. That's not so bad, right? So what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna multiply both sides by the LCD and try to solve. I'm gonna to try to solve this, solve for you. I'm gonna to try to solve for you. What do you get over there? The LCD is uh, gonna be um, UC. So you would get C U squared. Again, LCD is UC or CU. Plus C equals, let's see, what would that give you? C squared U plus U. Well, it doesn't look so bad. I'm going to rewrite it. And to do that, I guess i got to do something, right? So, hmm. Let's take a look at this. So C U squared, uh, let's see, minus C squared U plus C minus U equals zero. Let's see if I did that right. C U squared minus C squared U and then C minus, yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's keep going. I'm gonna keep doing this. And uh, I'm looking at this, I'm seeing C U And what do you get there? You would get U minus C. Well, I'm gonna write the next one as minus one times U minus C, and that equals zero. Then what I do, I factor it. U minus C, and then I would get CU minus one equals zero. So now I know u is equal to c, and I know cu is equal to one. So again, u, well, you know what? Maybe you don't remember what u is. It's up here. Let me write this down. And u is x plus a over x minus a. And what was C? It was A plus B over A minus B. Well, let's put this one down. What is going to U equals one over C. Let's write that down. So X plus A over X minus A is equal to the reciprocal of C, which is gonna be A minus B over A plus B. All right? And yeah, it, it's work. I'm not saying, that, you might say this is more work than the other thing. Again, work is what you, um, what you do, not, not what someone else does. I'm gonna to start to erase everything now. We're done with this. Everything is gone now. We are concentrating on moving forward. All right? We're concentrating on it. I got rid of all this stuff over here. I'm trying to solve an equation now. Now, what equation we're trying to solve? Let's do one at a time. And I'm gonna do this one first. And I want to know what X is. So what do you get over here? You get X plus A times A minus B is equal to X minus A times A plus B. 
Well, let's do it. What do you get? Well, I'm going to say a minus b x plus a a minus b equals x times a plus b minus a times a plus b. All right? Let's keep going. And I got to do something. It's going to say a a minus b plus a a plus b would equal x a plus b minus x times a minus b. I got to keep going, don't I? And what do you get over here? Well, let's see. You would get... That's not so bad to do, right? So what would you get? You get x... I'm factoring it out, by the way. a plus b minus a plus b. Well, that's not bad. What do you get there? x, and that would be 2b. Let's do the other side. All right, I'm looking at it. I'm going to kind of pull it together a little bit. You're going to get a squared minus ab plus a squared plus ab. Well, these things disappear. So you would get a squared. Yeah, a squared plus a squared. 2a squared, right? Wow, that's easy. So x would be equal to what? Well, x is going to be equal to 2a squared over 2b, which is going to be a squared over b. All right? Now, by the way, that doesn't cause any problems in the original problem, so I'm not too worried about it. I want to go to the key, though. I see it there. All right? Now, by the way, one down, one more to go. I'm going to erase. Before I do that, though, I'm glad I found it. I did do that. I found one. I want to get the other one. Let me erase this over here. And again, we're just working our way through the key. And now I'm going to do this one. What does that give me? Well, let's write it down. It's x plus a times a plus b equals x minus a times a minus b. Well, you know, I'm going to do the same thing I did before. It's x times a plus b plus a times a plus b. And then I'd get x times a minus b minus a times a minus b. Well, I got some work to do here, don't I? So x a plus b minus x times a minus b is equal to minus a, a plus b, minus a, a minus b. And again, there is work. I realize that. You get x, a plus b, minus a plus b. What do you get over here? Well, minus a squared, minus a b, minus a squared, plus a b. These cancel off. And what do you get? Well, on this side, you get x times 2b, and over here, you get minus 2a squared. What does this lead us to? x equals minus a squared over b. So we got both answers they got. Now, I want to point out the way they did it. It's up to them, and again, it's up to you. You might say, I don't like what you did here. That's fine. You don't have to. What you have to do is find your path to the solution, all right? So I want to point out, this is, whoops, sorry about that. This is the solution over here. By the way, the only bad answers here would be if A was, uh, if X was A or minus A, uh, that would be a bad answer, by the way. So th these are fine. These are all fine. So you can check them if you want, though. I want to point out what I did over here, though. Standard form. The coefficient on the X squared term is B squared. There is no linear term. Constant term is minus A4. And then I use the quadratic formula. Could you have also factored this thing? Yes, you could. Let's write that down. BX minus A squared. BX plus A squared is equal to zero. What does that mean? X is equal to A squared over B or X is equal to minus A squared over B. They still lead to the same answer. Quadratic formula, factoring. 
whether you did what I did up here or something different, it's incidental. It always leads to the truth, if you're truthful. All right, let me repeat this again. I know I say a lot in this set. I'm not really checking things. You may want to check these things and verify them. My email address is Bannon. And again, if you reach out to me with a concern about the content of the document, that's fine. And I'll try to address those issues. Uh, hopefully I'm not overwhelmed. I'll be able to get back to you. Thank you.